question to Rana. And Rana, um, especially in the context of communication, do you see any dramatic change in the communication mix from your clients? If it was predominantly television, print, or the digital as an afterthought, are you seeing digital getting more mainstream? Are you seeing a big drop in print? What's the quick early indications that you're getting out of, uh, out of Harvest Group? So I think, uh, yeah, you're right. I think so there is a, like I said, there has been a, a, a reaction to the way people are going to consume media. So, you know, print is naturally getting hit. So that is obvious because a lot of these conversations have moved into the digital medium. So we are seeing that as an initial reaction. So while some of the conversations will keep continuing to be, a launch will continue to have that impact. If we go back to the physical version, so be it, unless, and of course, but digital is taken a much larger scale of uh, conversation. I think the point that is interesting, and I think that is something I would like to leave back with. I think, you know, what we used to describe and we used to keep talking content, content, content. I think content is coming out as a much larger conversation. Now, whether we do it content one-on-one -on -one or whether we do content through a emailer, you know, and it applies to all who are in this panel, you know, whether you create, it's not the medium also. So whether we do content, even in content on television, whether we, you know, you're not talking about OTT, we are still saying cinema halls are going to come back. There is radio, there is podcast, there is webinars. So there is content which is going to keep driving the conversation and it has to be a certain value or a meaning, which is that conversation. Again, very early days. So I don't want to be a you know, soothsayer to say that certain mediums are going to fall out. We don't know what's going to happen in terms of whether, you know, whether print will get severely impacted when we get back to our life. The other conversation that a lot of us are saying is that maybe six months, one year down the line, when we all accepted that this is going to be part of our life and we go back to our normal lives, we're going to behave probably 80% the way or 90% the way we were. So a lot of these adoptions will come back. A lot of media habits will be similar. Yes, certain changes will happen. Certain impacts will happen. You know, for example, you know, we are not discussing experiential marketing and launches of events and everything. A severely hit industry, uh, <clears throat> something we don't even know. So are, are we going to discuss that? Will launches stop completely? Uh, you know, so there are many, many, many new, uh, you know, impacts that we are seeing. But I think generally speaking, television will, you, we are seeing that's not going to get impacted severely. OTT content, a newer forms, digital, yes. So there's no running away from the fact that digital in any form is going to keep becoming the driver for all of us. But it depends on the content that we're going to roll it out because people are now also switching off. You can see the issues that let's say a medium like TikTok just faced recently. You know, so conversations have to be very, very culturally driven. Content has to be very impactful. And then we'll see how it moves. You know, like I said, for us, it's very clear, uh, Lloyd, show must go on. So, and the show must go on because we've got fantastic clients across the group. We have fantastic people and, you know, we are there and, you know, we will keep molding ourselves and adapting to what the need is. And, you know, you can always count. And these are great friends I have, you know, we are here to, you know, ensure that uh, the business moves on. We keep ensuring consumers stay engaged with us and, you know, whatever that medium be, if we have to create a new one, we'll create a new one for all of you, but we are here. <laughs>